everyone welcome back to our channel cs pictorial this video is about the canonical and standard pys forms of boolean expressions a separate video about the canonical and standard sop expressions is available in our channel kindly check the link given in the description first let us know what a boolean expression is a boolean expression is a logical statement that can either be true or false some simple boolean expressions are given here we will now understand the difference between various forms of boolean expressions basically every boolean expression can be represented in two forms sop form or pys form an sop boolean expression can either be in its canonical form or standard form similarly a boolean expression given as pys can either be in its canonical form or standard pys form in this video we will try to understand how to identify each of these pys representations and how to make conversions between them please watch this video until the end PYS stands for product of sums or product of max terms. Let us consider this Boolean expression. What you could understand at just the first view itself is that the expression is multiplying up a few sum terms. Here, each term like x plus y is a sum term or max term. x plus z bar is another sum term or max term. And y plus z is another sum term or max term. This expression is finally finding the product of all the sum terms as the name tells you product of sums. Let us consider a truth table with two input variables. The truth table representation for max terms will be capital M0, M1, M2, M3, etc. depending on the number of input variables. To derive the max term, always remember for POS, if the value of the input variable is 0, write the literal as such in the max term. And if the value of the input variable is 1, the max term will have the complement of the literal. This is just the opposite to that of SOP form. This way we derive all the max terms x plus y, x plus y bar, x bar plus y and x bar plus y bar. Let us try to write a PYS expression for a given truth table with output f. Pick out the truth table entries for which the output value is 0 and write the corresponding max term. This is also just the opposite to that done for an SOP expression. Compare this with our previous video about SOP expressions for even more clear understanding. In the first entry, x is 0, y is 0 and z is also 0. So, the max term is written as x plus y plus z. Similarly, we get the next max term x plus y plus z bar. Remember, if the value of the input variable is 0, write the literal as such in the max term. And if the value of the input variable is 1, the max term will have the complement of the literal. In the same way, we get x plus y bar plus z bar. Finally, we derive the POS expression by multiplying all the max terms. f is equal to x plus y plus z into x plus y plus z bar into x plus y bar plus z bar. Another way to express a PYS expression is to write the corresponding max term representation for which the output value is 0. Here, f is equal to m0 into m1 into m3. Also written as f equal to pi capital M of 0, 1, 3. Here are two product of sums expression. The first expression is a canonical form of PYS because in this expression each sum term contains all the three variables A, B and C involved in the expression, either the literal as such or its complement. When this expression is simplified using some Boolean laws, we get the standard PYS expression. We will get it much clearer. This PYS expression is said to be a standard PYS expression because here each sum term does not include all the literals. The first sum term A plus B is missing C, the second term B plus C is missing A and the third sum term A plus C is missing B. Thereby a standard PYS expression can also be called as minimal PYS or simplified form of canonical PYS. Here a few PYS expressions are given. We will try to sort out the canonical and standard PYS from these expressions. Always remember, if each sum term has all the literals, it is canonical PYS. Simplified expression is the standard PYS. 
In the first expression, a plus b into a plus c into b bar plus c bar, total literals involved in the expression are a, b and c. But the first sum term a plus b is missing c, the second term is missing b and the third term b bar plus c bar is missing a. So we could conclude that this expression is a simplified standard POS. In the second example, there is only one sum term a plus b c and this sum term includes all the three literals a, b and c. Thereby, it is a canonical POS. Similarly, in the next example, a plus b into a bar plus b into a bar plus b bar, each sum term includes all the two literals a and b. So, it is a canonical POS expression. The last expression is a simplified standard POS. By this time, you would have understood that a canonical POS expression needs to be simplified to derive the standard POS expression. Now, we will try to understand the simple procedure for the conversion vice versa. That is, converting a standard POS expression into a canonical POS expression. This is a standard POS expression. As you all know, in a standard POS expression, each sum term doesn't include all the literals. So first, find the total number of literals involved in the expression. Here, in this expression, three literals are involved A, B and C. Now, find the variables that are absent in each sum term. In the first sum term, C is missing and in the second sum term, B is missing. Now, add the product of missing variable and its complement to each sum term. The expression is then written as a plus b bar plus c into c bar into a plus b into b bar plus c. Expand all the terms in the next step. The expression now becomes a plus b bar plus c into a plus b bar plus c bar into a plus b plus c into a plus b bar plus c. Cancel out the recurrent terms making the final expression a plus b bar plus c into a plus b bar plus c bar into a plus b plus c. This is the final canonical POS expression. Okay then, it's done for today. Hope this video would have been useful. Compare this video with our previous video regarding the canonical and standard forms of SOP expressions for easier understanding. Kindly follow our channel for more informative computer tutorials. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Hit the bell icon for sure. Thank you for watching.